case, y'all. Look what my mommy got me. I'm so excited. We're about to put it together. Okay, guys. So, first of all, the plan changed. It was a little bigger than I thought it was once we started building it. So, this did not fit on the table. But we found a great spot for it over here on the side. So, I'm super duper excited. I think it's more space than I thought. Um, I went ahead and just put some of the weed barrier cloth down and a couple of bricks to help keep it down and to help um, not have to worry about weeds because what we're going to do with this is plant some seeds. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and start tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and stuff and then I'm also going to plant some of my fall crops that died out like broccolis and cabbages and stuff. I'm going to see if I'll be able to get a spring harvest of those things. Also, I'm excited about this because things like my carrots and grow bags and stuff, if we do have a cold snap, I can just stick them in here and they'll be perfectly fine and protected. Um, so, when I get my seeds and stuff together, I'll come back and show you guys planting those and putting them in there. But thanks, Mama. I appreciate it. Okay, y'all, it's the next day. I ran out of daylight yesterday, and I'm running out of daylight today, so let me just show you real quick that I did plant some seeds in here. You can see it's already got retaining its water. So I planted seeds and moved my, um, one of the comfrey in here so i planted marshmallow uh some giant red mustards yellow mustards alabama blue collards purple of sicily cauliflower carmen peppers san marzano tomatoes uh peacock broccoli calendula and strawberries so i think what i'm gonna do to finish this video out is just show you guys um, what I'm going to be planting for the rest of this month, I'll probably be planting every other day or so. Um, my focus is brassicas and fall crops that died that I thought I was going to get spring harvests for. And then the stuff that takes a long time, like tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers that I want to, um, grow from seed. Those take a long time and it's already gonna be close to six to eight weeks before my last frost date so um i want to get those things ready to go so i'll add on to this and just pull some out show you some varieties that i'm gonna plant and uh that'll be it for this video and um oh let me show you real quick where is it my planting medium oh right here i'll show you all this mixture i have other videos though of planting seeds me and my baby girl. This is a uh, cocoa core mixed with a little bit of homemade compost. And this is what I plant my seeds in. And I always sit them in trays and have water, uh, water them from the bottom. So I'll come back and show you guys some of the varieties that I'm planting for January, 2023. Peace. Peace family. It has been a few days, apologies. It has taken a while for me to get back to this video. Um, one reason that it's hard for me to do that is because I want to plant all the things in January. <laughs> um, and in this video, it won't even be all the stuff that I will plant in January. But what is important, I'll try to point out. So um, what I'm trying to do, I'm in Zone 9B. I'm in Houston, Texas. And... Um, a lot of my brassicas and stuff that I felt was fall planting died. So first I'm trying to rejuvenate that. So I already planted uh, brassicas again, seeds. And I'll show you. This stack is the ones that I have already planted in my little greenhouse. And then these are the ones that I'm going to plant today or in the next few days. And then I'll do another video and show you guys what seeds I'm going to um, do cold stratification. Okay? Excuse me. Second of all, it is already, I had an alarm on my phone. It is already six weeks before our 
projected last frost date. Um, and while I don't plan on moving anything out, out into the garden, like into the beds until probably March after my kid's birthday, late March, um, I can have them growing well in the greenhouse. So things that take a long time to grow from seed, like tomatoes and eggplants and peppers. Okay, so you guys saw me plant this chamomile. I just kind of sprinkled it in the bed. I also planted these tomatoes. They're a beefsteak, but they said pole tomatoes. So um, these are from Botanical Interest. These are new, so I haven't planted these before. We'll see how they go. Uh, also from Botanical Interest are these giant red mustards. My mom likes mustard greens, so I'm growing these for her. And y'all know I like to grow things that are purple and beautiful, so. Speaking of growing purple things, I have purple of Sicily cauliflower. I have carmen pepper. So I bought a carmen pepper plant from the nursery, I think last year. And it gave me a few peppers, but then the plant died. But I did get to save seeds. So I really want that pepper back. I like that one. These are Alabama Blue Collards from Southern Seed Exchange. Um, Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. Some of these I get off Etsy. I get seeds in different places. Marshmallow. If you've been following me, you know I have been trying to grow marshmallow. And I will grow marshmallow. <laughs> So I planted some of those in the bed and I also planted some in a pot over there. And I'm also gonna try to see if they need pole stratification. Peacock broccoli. Calendulas. I had some sprouted that were killed. San Marzano tomatoes. I really, really want sauces this year, you guys. I really wanna can lots and lots of spaghetti. I want to can a lot of spaghetti sauce, but I don't want to buy lots of tomatoes. So we're going to try to grow them again. Strawberries. Teddy, don't mess up my, uh-uh. I'm recording. Teddy about to try to bust up my whole show. Alexandria strawberries. Um, I'm also going to see if these need cold stratification. So. The package doesn't say that they need them, but I heard strawberries do. I cold stratified some last year and they sprouted when I brought them out, but I didn't, you know, get them transferred into where they needed to go and stuff in time, so they died out. So, um, I planted some directly in the planters, but I'm also going to cold stratify these. Yellow mustards, because I want to have my own mustard seeds and I want to make mustard. Uh, these are some cluster tomatoes that Boom Shakalaka sent me. These are fish peppers. I'm not sure who sent me those. Thank you if you're watching. And these are Violet Sparkle. This was the purple pepper that I grew last year, and I loved it. I don't think it had enough time to grow to its full potential, but that's okay. All right. So, I just planted one of these and it was growing beautifully and then the cold killed it. Um, if you've been following us since San Diego, then you remember Diva and she was a plant that looked a lot like this. She was a Thumbergia, but I think a different second name. But anyway, this uh, botanical interest, this was the closest that I found to Diva and I loved how she looked. She was beautiful. She would either, you know, crawl up with all these pretty flowers or, you know, if you had her up then she would like flow down with them. Gorgeous. Um, don't let that girl dry out though. Golden Marconi peppers. Uh, alyssum. This is another something that I just sprinkle all throughout the garden. Um, I grow this for the pollinators and I grow it for the beneficial wasps who eat like hornworms and stuff like that. So I just sprinkle them kind of everywhere and they bring the friends in. 
cilantro. I have one little sad looking cilantro in the side bed. I did plant some seeds over there in the bed, but I'm also gonna plant some in pots. Stevia. My children love stevia when we grow it and I let the other one die, so I have to redeem myself. These are corbasi peppers. You can't really see the name anymore. That was sent to me by a garden friend. And the wind is picking up. Sunberry. This is um like related to a tomato, but a little sweeter and purple, I think. Bees bomb. Good for you. Borage. I have borage popping out by themselves right now, self-seeding, but I don't know if another cold is gonna come and kill them off like the last ones that I had. So just in case, I'm gonna plant some of these in my little greenhouse. This is a Lessia pepper. I heard it was bomb. I haven't, I haven't had the pleasure yet, but hopefully this year we'll get it going. African daisies. I had some of these and they died um, at mommy's house. Pigeon peas. I got these from Dan Permaculture Food Forest. He has a seed shop on Etsy. Was I showing y'all that the right way? My bad. Okay, purple tiger pepper. I have one. Let's <laughs> hope it makes it. <laughs> I might do one more seed um, order for the year and my paprika dulce i only have two of those so see this uh seed company heirloom seed company i like them this is on etsy this is where my um violet sparkle pepper came from too so that may seem like a lot it's actually not enough um i am growing for me and this family i want to grow as much as i can and also for extended family mommy and my mom and my sister and them who don't have as much time and or resource or desire to plant all these things from seed and then i've really been kind of dreaming about having like this delivery uh nursery so i'm thinking i'll just grow extra plants and then people in the houston area who want to like cash at me i'll bring the plants over that they need and hopefully i can help some people start their gardens locally that will be a dream for me so uh next up i'll show you guys cold stratification but i'm gonna go ahead and just get these seeds planted and into the greenhouse um i think we'll end this by me showing you what the plants look like because some of them have already sprouted so let's go check those out Come on, Teddy. okay guys so as you can see my yellow mustards have sprouted my alabama blue collards uh, the mustards that I'm growing for my mom, my purple of Sicily, they look like they just came out like today. So I think they're doing good so far. These in the back here I planted a different day, a little bit later than these up here. And also back there, those are like tomatoes and peppers and stuff. Sometimes those take longer. So we'll see. I'm hoping that this will be... A small enough space to stay warm enough and I think I see a peacock broccoli trying to pop out of there um, but I'm hoping this will be a small enough space to stay warm enough for the tomatoes and stuff if you follow me last year I tried to start seeds in my other greenhouse and they were not successful for the peppers and tomatoes and stuff I think it wasn't hot enough but over here this is the hottest side of the yard. It gets the sun for the longest. Um, and this greenhouse is a smaller space and closer to the ground. So I'm hoping that it'll do a better job of kind of keeping its heat in there. I also put a big old water bottle in here that I'm hoping on the sunny days it will absorb the heat. And then I just leave it closed up in there and it'll get the, give that heat back off. So I think that's it, y'all. That's long enough. It took me forever to do this video. Next, I'm going to um, go inventory everything that I canned and preserved and stuff. And we'll take a look at, was it all worth it this year of, you know, growing, gardening, and preserving here? 
Uh, this was my first year, or last year was my first full year doing that in this house. So we're gonna see what did I come up with throughout that year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know what seeds you're planting. Um, do you start your seeds indoors or outdoors? And how that's going. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.